Hey, what is going on my XRP investors? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Got some very interesting things to talk about today. Let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. Okay. So first off, we're starting off the Monday with a unconfirmed, reportedly unconfirmed, unconfirmed information, which is Ripple and the SEC to hold a undisclosed meeting on May 8th, unconfirmed source. This hype started spreading throughout Twitter. Uh, John Deaton says, I'm willing to bet this is false. The SEC lawyers and Ripple lawyers could meet any time they so desire. I don't think they would pick a date a week from now and then leak it out. Um, so just so you guys know, if you do go onto XRP Twitter, you're going to be seeing this a lot on your feed. Um, honestly, it's like we're at the point where summary judgment could literally be any day now. The Ripple versus SEC lawsuit could be over any day now. Uh, I think it's quite obvious that we are on the last leg of the lawsuit and everything is done, briefed, and filed. Now we just wait for the judge to make a decision. That's the only thing that's left to happen. But I just think the XRP community just couldn't help itself and just had to start a rumor on Twitter that May 8th was going to be an undisclosed meeting that's going on there. Now, what I will say that's interesting is I did receive a direct message from a random Twitter account making a lot of claims saying that like, hey, settlement's coming up soon and hey, my wife works for this company and blah, 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 blah. So I, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit coincidence that this rumor comes out uh, just about days after I get this weird direct message from a Twitter account with like 30 followers. I'm just putting it out there. You know, hey, it's a crazy world we live in. I mean, we got Pepe coin uh, making people millionaires over here. So you know what? An undisclosed, you know, undisclosed uh meeting and a rumor i don't know doesn't seem like the craziest thing to me but guys let's just keep it you know just keep it 100 this is most likely going to be false but the reality of the situation is we are awaiting a summary judgment and or settlement um any any day now now to get on to some real topics with you guys that aren't rumors geraldo xrp has put out a tweet recently now if you guys do not know who this guy is you're not up to speed on who this guy is this was the guy when XRP first broke a dollar per coin back in uh, 2017. He was the guy that came out and basically said, um, sellers are getting destroyed, make way for the moon. And that's when XRP went from $1 a coin to $4 a coin uh, over in Korea and $3.30 in America for a $3.80 average all time high. This is one of my probably favorite technical analysts in the XRP community just because he rarely ever posts technical analysis. And when he does, it usually actually ends up being very serious and something ends up you know, happening on the charts here. So he puts out this tweet on April 29th. So he says, XRP fans, some clown thoughts for this special community. The standard appears to have completed its bearish wave 2 ABC correction. I have marked up the correction support and support breaks in green and red to make these ABC cor uh, corrections easier to understand and look for in future yourself. Since June 22nd, we have been printing the fulcrum, uh, we've been printing a fulcrum double bottom and looking for confirmation of wave 2 completion. March 23rd closes bullish and price takes out the last 30, 60, 90 day closes. Buying here is a simple hedge fund strategy. If I was an ODL customer, I would have likely been more risk on coming uh, into the end of Q1. I am sure a detective said sales were up. Wave three is starting. Exchange market maker bias is becoming more closely aligned to retail holders than, than it has been for some time. We might see the complete removal or reduction of B books and dealing desks. Self-custody helps price appreciation. Do your bit. April 23rd has been consolidating the March breakout move and setting up for a strong May. These types of formations are classic bull continuation patterns. Wave three will play out over a significant length of time and conservative targets might be in the $3 range. Uh, make way for moon then in slow motion. Positive news events for XRP or crypto broadly could send price vertical in which wa uh, in which case wave three targets have the potential to get very overextended. See what I like about the area in which the XRP price is currently in. Okay, we're, we're, we got this whole scenario going on here. The monthly close uh, broke above previous high for the first time in a very long time, and we're getting the pullback test, and that candle has since closed since uh, this post has been posted, uh, and now we are you know, making a new monthly candle for May. 
What we have going on right now is the cryptocurrency market is getting into another mania, but it's not necessarily within these top coins. I mean, recently XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum have surged quite a bit, and since they have cooled down, now the whole cryptocurrency market is focused on the meme coins again. Oh yes, guys, can't forget the slot machine, the casino, the meme coins, they are coming back. Pepe coin, um, which was literally worth zero, um, you know, April 18, 2023, I mean, it was literally just worth like zero, or I think it's, no, yeah, somewhere April 17th, April 16, 2023, the coin just comes out in the market cap is barely, you know, anything, you know, volumes are there, very thin liquidity, and now all of a sudden Pepe coin has reached the likes of over half a billion dollars in market cap, so you guys remember when XRP went ahead and blasted off to the $2 range? What was like the biggest hype of that time? It wasn't even XRP. It wasn't even really Bitcoin. It was the Dogecoin, Shiba Inu. Everyone goes on Twitter. They say like, oh my God, I put in a hundred bucks last week. Now I have 12 grand. And, and you see all, and it's just, it's getting back into this mania cycle where potentially we have the meme coins carrying the hype for the market. So guys, right now, Pepe coin is all over Twitter. I'm not buying it. I don't treat crypto like a casino. I like to bet into sure things like XRP and buying XRP at the absolute bear market lows for maximum financial opportunity going in the future. So, but this is just how the crypto space is. We have this Pepe coin. There's a couple other ones like Wojak and it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's this part of cryptocurrency I really don't like, but it's, it's in a good way. In a way, it's kind of good that it proves to the general public that, yes, crazy things do happen in cryptocurrency. I mean, if you bought into Pepe coin like back here and you sold right now, I mean, you'd be sitting on a lot of money. So this is a thing of the cryptocurrency market. It's like I, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. I don't like it for the reason of it's just this money could be going into much better cryptocurrencies. The part of me that likes it is it's creating this kind of mania and it's creating this hype where cryptocurrency is going to be like a normie thing again. And people are going to make TikToks and Facebook posts and, you know, show all this, you know, Pepe gains and stuff like that. It's just the same thing as when XRP went to $2 a coin back here. It was the, the Doge coin, the Shiba Inu and like the Floki and the baby Doge coin and the Doge Lawn Mars. It, it's just all these useless garbage meme coins that are delivering these insane insane gains, which kind of, in a way, end up propping the general cryptocurrency market by bringing more money into the cryptocurrency market and kind of having the hype there that is getting people emotional and willing to buy cryptocurrency. So guys, Pepe, I mean, I'm sure you probably heard about it. I'm not buying it, but if a coin out there wants to go ahead and deliver million percent gains to people, all the power to it, because it's just going to go ahead and it's going to, you know, fulfill the loop where the meme coins they end up getting rug pulled they end up getting drained and then you have all that new capital floating around in the market that goes into the real cryptocurrencies like bitcoin ethereum and xrp so i'm just saying guys right now in the xrp community in the cryptocurrency market we are at a very very crucial pivotal moment in the xrp charts where we could be seeing some major blast offs here we got you know og technical analyst xrp geraldo is saying that we are going to be having a very very strong may and the fact that we are waiting on the ripple versus sec lawsuit to finally reach summary judgment after that ripples go into ipo now you have all these meme coins going crazy and making everyone buy crypto again and then it allows the normies that don't usually buy crypto now they're buying into crypto again and then it just it makes his whole mania cycle and xrp is setting up at the perfect time with double bottom off of old all-time high breaking previous high close in the monthly chart with a little tiny pullback it's like we are setting ourselves up to get that one dollar xrp this month, I'm saying, I mean, this month, it's very possible we do see like the 60, 70, 80 cent, $1 XRP somewhere in that range. Anyways, guys, you know how the cryptocurrency space is. It's a very crazy place. A lot of crazy things going on. A lot of money flowing around. And we are waiting for XRP to do what must be done. All right, fellas. Appreciate you tuning in the video today. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.